Okay, so the next uh, section that I want to introduce for this tips and tricks tutorial is a little bit of lighting, a few tricks I've picked up along the way for lighting. And uh, the very first trick that I want to show you is when it comes time to create some lights. And uh, we've got our scene here, it's just a very basic scene, and I'm going to create a target direct light. So just in the standard lighting here, select the target direct, we'll go to a wireframe mode, and uh, just click and drag, actually I'll undo that, you click and drag the target. So I'm just going to drag it to the center here. And then the very first thing I like to do is right click on the view heading up the top here, and in this instance it's top. And just right click and then select views and go target direct or direct 01 which is the light we just created and then what we're doing here is we're looking through the light and so if we grab our orbit tool and we orbit up and orbit around we can switch switch to a view mode here we can orbit around a little bit and we're looking at the light or looking through the light as if the light was a camera and we have some other functions down here on the uh, on the bottom menu we can select the outer fall off area and click and drag and that will drag out the fall off of the light we can drag it right up close and you'll see that it, it leaves a very tight fall off and then we've got our inner fall off here where we can drag that in we can move in towards the objects and it's hard to see in in this given that it's a direct light but if I just bring up and do the same I've got my direct light view here and then you can see you will see how the the light is actually moving in and out as we zoom in and out in the direct 01 uh, view and we can also rotate the light uh, we can use the hand there to move the light around and uh, it's a very powerful way of setting up your lights so that it, you can get a good idea of what the light sees or what the light is casting light on Okay, so we'll just uh, we'll just go to a front view, uh, make it a left view, and we're just going to drag with a view um, coordinate system. We're just going to drag this light with the shift held down, which is causing a copy, just like that. And we'll go OK to that, and we're just going to do the same process. We're just going to jump in. This time it's direct O2, and we're going to scale the fall off right down, like so. And then we'll go to uh, shaded mode. Now we're going to go to a uh, front view. Um, and then hit P for perspective. And we just arc around a little bit. Now at the moment, default lighting is on. And uh, we know that because the scene is not completely black. If, if, and if I just use Control L, that switches the default lighting off. And it uses the lights that are in the scene. And if we right click on our view heading again, come down to configure, we've, we've got lighting and shadows as part of this, uh, this uh, viewport configuration setup. So if we just go into lighting, lighting and shadows, we can auto display selected lights. We can switch that on. Um, provided that your machine's nice and quick, you can switch your viewport shading up so that it's a little bit more accurate. And then cast shadows for default lighting is a good one to have on as well. Um, although you have to remember that it's default lighting and when you go to render something, the default lighting isn't rendered. The default lighting is what Max uses to help light your scene when you haven't created any lights yet. So we'll, we'll just leave that off for now and we'll go OK. And what you'll see is that if I don't select any light at all, then it's completely black, which you might find useless because I can't see anything in the scene. But if you hit use control L, that'll switch your default lighting back on and you can, you can see everything in the scene. But if I just switch back, now when I switch on a light, it shows me what that light is lighting up and how it's falling on surfaces. And then I'd switch the other one on and it does the same. If I use both, if I use control and select both, you can see I've got that hot spot in the center because it's it's showing me what both the lights are lighting up and the effect on the surfaces. It's a very, very handy uh, tool. And if I just give that a quick render, you'll see that it's, it's really quite accurate to what the lights are actually seeing. I don't have any shadows uh, switched on at the moment. Um, but you'll, you'll be able to set up your lighting 
so that uh, it's a little bit more intuitive in that setup process. So that's um, that's a very good uh, set of tips that you really should implement next time you're doing some lighting. So I'm just going to delete those lights now, and I'm going to very quickly. It's the world's fastest light rig setup, and uh, oh, it's probably not. It's probably the second fastest light rig, rig setup. Just to uh, get myself out of trouble if, if someone's got one faster. And uh, just going to go to a front view, which is what I'm sitting in here. And this is how I set up a very fast lighting scenario um, or a light rig. So just with the standard lights here, I'm just going to get a, th a free direct. And I'm going to click in the front view. And that creates a light in the front view. And if I go to a top view, you'll see that it's created it right at the center here, which is world center. I'm going to drag it back. Uh, to its until it's outside of uh, all of the objects that I want illuminated and I'm just going to open up the uh, just go into the light settings um, and just open up the hotspot a little bit just give it make it a little bit wider and a little bit wider there I'm just going to rename that light fill I'm going to set up the parameters for it uh, I'm going to go point 0.2 on the multiplier I'm going to take some of that color out of it and bring it back towards a white a little bit, not a pure white, and go OK. And that's probably all we need for, for that uh, the setup of that light. Then we're just going to go into Hierarchy, Effect Pivot Only, and we're going to drag the pivot point to the middle of the scene. And uh, it would be the center of all of the objects that you want illuminated by this these fill lights. So now the pivot point's at the center. We can hold down, the, we can rotate. We'll use the Angle Snap toggle. And if we hold down shift, we can rotate around 90 degrees and then we'll call it an instance and then we're going to make two more. Uh, so in total there's uh, three that we're creating given that we've already got one. And if we go OK, then we've got four lights in a fill, uh, four fill lights coming from the cardinal directions, north, south, east, west of our objects. And then I'm going to grab this light and this light and I'm in a front view, I'm going to do the same shift drag. And I'm going to call those uh, instances as well. And the beauty of instance means that I can adjust my fill lights universally. All I've got to do is go into one fill light. And because it's an instance, I can change that from 2 to 2.5. And all of the other lights are now, uh, we'll just change that again, 2.5. And all of the other lights are now 2.5. So the next light we need to create in the world's fastest lighting rig is a target direct, which is our key light. And I'm just going to go from a sort of a 45 degree angle here. And I'm going to go into, into the view, direct 01. Same process we spoke of before. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. And the settings in this one, I'm going to turn the shadow maps on. I'm going to set the multiplier to um, 1. Um, I'm going to slide up to the shadows, shadow parameters, and make sure the BIOS is down to 0.1 size. Crank that up, 1500, and sample range will crank that up to about 10. And I'll just make sure, yeah, these are very too high. It should be 0.25 on the fill lights, not 2.5. And the last uh, light that we need to create, so we'll just go back to a top view. And we'll put in an Omni light right in the center here. It won't matter where you put it because it's an ambient light. We're going to create an ambient light. And we'll just rename this ambient. And then we'll open all of the panels for the lighting settings. And we're going to just tick in the advanced effects ambient. And we're going to make it about a, a 0.15 ambient light. Now if we just go to a perspective view, arc around a little bit and give that a bit of a render, we'll see what we have. And so that is a, that is a very quick lighting scenario. Um, I can very quickly uh, just change my target direct settings a little bit bright, we'll, or our key light, I'll just rename that key. And uh, we'll set that down to about 0.8, we're going to set our fill lights down to 0.12 and we're going to set our ambient light down to 0.05 and we'll see what that looks like 
and there you have it. It's a very quick and easy way to have a look at how your model or your uh, scene is looking in a fairly general lighting sense. Um, it's got nice feel. Um, it doesn't require any extra uh, rendering uh, plugins or add-ons or V-Ray or anything like that. It's quick to render and uh, and it, it certainly gets the job done quickly. You could also um, add a little bit of soft shadowing to the fill lights to give yourself a little bit more global illumination feel. Um, but it seems to work quite well.